Hey everybody, it's Dina with Paper Guacamole. I'm back um, after a, a little bit of an absence uh, from YouTube. I had a little bit of a life happens uh, period of time where I really wasn't doing any types of crafting or letter writing or anything. Um, and I kind of lost my mojo. But as you can see, I am back and I'd like to share a very small, I guess, journal. Um, started off as a flip book, ended up as a journal. So um, I guess it's just a small journal. I made this for Vivian at the Paper Letter Blog. Um, I love her channel. I love that she's into snail mail and crafting. And um, it's one of my favorite channels. So I thought it would be really cool to um, make her a flip book because she makes a lot of flip books. But like I said, it ended up becoming a journal because um, as you know, I learned how to make journals from uh, my friend, her Melinda. And um, so let's get started. So I made her a fall theme journal, um, kind of a positivity type journal. Although it looks thick, there aren't a lot of pages, but there are a lot of um, places to insert things. So that's why it's a little bit on the chunky side. Um, I ended up um, attaching this fall uh, leaf ribbon. And it did have, um, it was a wired ribbon and I just removed the ribbon. Then I just added the regular uh, ribbons, uh, some torn paper, a doily, and um, when she opens it, um, you'll see there is, um, this is actually a, an altered playing card and the playing card is round, obviously. I didn't punch it though. Um, it was a round playing card and then I wanted it to just have like a positive vibe, you know, lots of positivity, um, lots of uh, inspirational words and phrases. So I started it off um, with um, the definition for inspire. And this is um, a tile. Um, it's actually a sheet um, of tiles that I bought off of a vendor on Etsy. So um, we'll go get into it. Um, the cover, let me see if you can see this. The cover, um, there's a little tag here and this journal belongs to. So I thought maybe it would be something that she could, not necessarily like journal in if she's not into journaling, but you could just maybe attach um, tickets or pictures or just little things um, that you know she may want to remember. Um, on the on the blank pages. So um, let's see here. There's a doily here. It says blessed. Then there's this page that says Thanksgiving greetings with a little flower. And another the back of the page it says memories are forever. And then there is oops memories are forever. And there's just a little leaf uh, sticker. And then uh, we have a paper bag here full of goodies. Um, I did, I made this r super cute little owl themed paper clip for her. And this is obviously fall and autumn inspired as well. So there's lots of, uh, lots of owls, lots of browns, yellows, orange, green, uh, a little bit of light blues in there. So um, in this first bag, this out. Um, it has a little owl die cut with the ribbon and um, just a little washi here. And I'm gonna move this over. And inside, um, I have another altered uh, playing card. And these are just kind of cool to have around. You know, maybe you have a, a bowl like I do full of, you know, paper clips and just different things that I use for crafting. And it's just nice to have little positive affirmations, you know, laying around you. At least I, I like having that. So I um, included one of my altered playing cards with the definition for dream. Um, a little bit of just um, very small and dainty um, lace and this is vintage lace 
um, that I bought at an estate sale. Um, more of that wire trimmed ribbon that I put on the spine and I just left the wire in there. Um, but it's real easy to remove. You just literally pull it and it comes right out. Um, I travel a lot, so I end up inadvertently with these um, key cards. So I wrapped some fall themed washi on there for her and uh, added some cork stickers, some little arrows. And this is a little bag that I made from their actually waxed sandwich bags. So I just cut my pattern um, on the sandwich bag and I embossed it. I don't know if you can kind of see that. Um, and I just glued it together and then sealed it with washi tape. And then on the inside, I have more um, of these definitions, you know, hope, cherish, um, joy, just little things she may want to use. And actually this is a washi sample and it goes in a different area. So I will be putting that where it belongs. Okay, so let me put that there. Okay, let's go back to the book. On this page, um, it just says, you can never have too much happy. The next page has samples of tea. And if there are any that she does not like, she can definitely forward them on to someone else that she, you know, she, uh, that she writes to or put them in a flip book for someone else. It will not hurt my feelings at all. Um, I have an envelope here that um, is glued in. So it's almost, it's a, I made like a tuck spot or a pocket here. Um, but on the top, um, it says dwell in possibility. Okay, let me open that up. And here's where that washi sample needs to go. So I have, I'm gonna move this over. Um, have some, you know, really cute little washi samples for her in a fall theme, and then just some Project Life cards for her. And as I think I've said in my other videos, I am such a slow crafter, so um, this took me a little longer than I thought, but I don't know why I thought any differently because it takes me forever just to do uh, the simplest little projects. But anyway, um, in this little area here, um, this is just some graph paper that I sprayed with some shimmer spray with a sticker that says dream, love, create, and inspire. And I have a little paper clip with a wooden um, topper that says autumn adventures and then some more just project life cards. Um, that she could use herself, re, you know, send on uh, whatever she'd like to do. Oh, and a little bit of um, pumpkin bling um, washi. I guess it's washi. It was like more like a sticker background, but it came like in a washi roll. Um, the next page is just blank. It's the uh, other side of the um, graph paper that's uh, shimmered. And it just has a Thanksgiving recipe for friendship, some washi. I have a tag here. Um, that the paper says thankful and it has leaves on it with a little bit of a ribbon here and on the other side. Um, these are just have the little, um, you know, joy, craft, dream, create, um, the definitions backed onto some little miniature orange doilies. Um, this is the middle of the uh, very um, small paged journal, and this, this is just a pocket, and um, it says, if you're lucky enough to be different, never change. And I have a little uh, Tressa Collins goodie for her there, and then the other side of the tag that says believe and has the definition. Um, here's the other side of the um, graph paper that shimmered. It has um, a little Peanuts um, cartoon that says, From our house to yours, wishes for a happy Thanksgiving 
and a little uh, fall sticker here. Um, some washi, autumn themed washi on the end. The other side of the graph paper with some stickers. This page is just something where maybe she can um, add some pictures if she'd like. And um, it says, remember the now. And um, smiles, love this, you and me. So put some little enamel dots there. Uh, on the other side, I have, um, it says, live well, laugh often, and love much. And, um, oh, I need to trim this. <laughs> I put some of that vintage um, dainty uh, lace here. And I did it on the other page as well. But anyway, so here's um, an, the other side of the bag that's uh, made into like a little pocket. And it says, owl you need is love. And there's some owl, oops, there's some owls here. And on the inside, I have a little baggie of wooden cutouts for her. Some stamped leaves that maybe she would want to color in or use to decorate a page. More of these little miniature um, doilies in orange. And then uh, a little orange polka dot bag. Um, I, this is a very sad looking wax seal. Um, I used a candle wax, um, to apply, you know, to get my seal going and it wasn't melting fast enough and it was actually starting to dry in other areas. And I'm actually waiting for, um, the little wax beads, um, versus the candle to use. But anyway, so... This is a rose, it's like three quarters of a rose, and I just kind of, um, I put this little um, tassel kind of underneath just to keep it interesting. Um, on, in the inside of the bag, I have these cute little, of course they're sticking together. Let me find one that's maybe loose. These little owl die cuts, um, I just love them and I did them like in a chocolate brown and a bronzy brown really pretty some little stickers some more little stamp uh, stamped images and just some little uh, ephemera for her I'll put that there and um, let's see here and then this last page is just another journaling page where she can, you know, staple things. You know, maybe she went to a concert and wants to put the ticket there, pictures, write a little something. I mean, whatever whatever she, she'd like. And then the back side, and then here's the other side of the doily. And I think I'm going to just leave this, this page blank. Um, uh, this has a, a really pretty, um, like a... Um, like a corrugated, very sturdy um, cover. And I hope that she likes this. I don't know that this is would is her style necessarily, but it was made with a lot of love and a lot of thought. And I just wanted to send her something um, from one snail mailer to another, um, just a little something because I really love her channel. Um, I'm going to write a letter and hopefully get this out in the mail to her. Um, once she receives it, I will upload this video. And um, thank you everyone for all of your messages and well wishes uh, since I was kind of offline for a while. But um, for the here and now, I, I'm back and hopefully I'll be doing more videos. And I wish you all just the best Thanksgiving and, you know, happiness, health, um, and just, you know, lots of positivity. So um, have a great day. Bye.